Bacon's Rebellion, 1676. The indentured servant uprising led by Nathaniel Bacon against the colony's governor, Sir William Barclay. But what if I told you that this was not the first indentured insurgency, that it was merely the breaking point in tensions that had been building for over a decade? In 1663, Gloucester County witnessed a revolt that would shake the colony to its core, test the resolves of its authorities, and set the stage for further violence, the Gloucester County Conspiracy. The practice of indentured servitude was first challenged in York County in 1661 in a conspiracy orchestrated by Isaac Friend and William Clutton. While they galvanized over 40 supporters, their plot was swiftly suppressed by colonial authorities. Even though the General Assembly passed two acts that promised better treatment for indentured servants in the wake of the conspiracy, indentured servants in Gloucester remained resentful. September 1st, 1663. Nine indentured servants secretly gathered at a small house in the woods, appointed William Bell and John Gunter to spearhead the uprising, and agreed to meet at midnight the following Sunday. They would return to the meeting armed with munitions, and assemble 30 men to pillage the homes of councillors and descend on Barclay's mansion at Green Spring. There, they would demand their release from their indentures, and if he refused to fulfill their request, they would resort to more drastic measures, arranging preparations to slaughter the governor. But the conspiracy was short-lived. At the height of the revolt, just before the conspirators descended on Green Spring, a servant named Birkenhead revealed their intentions to Barclay, who arranged for the insurgents to be captured at their meeting place. The general court tried them for treason and accused them of organizing an insurrection in an attempt to wholly submit and destroy the colony and four men faced their fate at the gallows. The House of Burgesses awarded Birkenhead his freedom and declared that the 13th day of September should be annually kept holy. When Charles II heard about the plot, he ordered a fort to be built to Jamestown to protect Barclay. In 1670, believing some of the conspirators to be convicts from English jails sent to labor in the colony, Barclay issued an order to prevent felons from being imported to Virginia. The conspiracy would forever change Virginia society, with authorities becoming increasingly wary of indentured resistance. As fate had it, it was only a prelude to the disorder that would follow in 1676 with Bacon's Rebellion, the violent civil war that divided the colony against Governor Barclay, the symbol of tyranny for Virginians and the uprising would inspire the Westmoreland Slave Plot of 1687, a slave conspiracy aimed at killing whites and destroying property throughout the colony. In the centuries that followed, the conspiracy inspired generations of authors. The rebellion caused Mary Johnson, a suffragette and social activist, to write her debut novel, Prisoners of Hope, which was based off of the event. The conspiracy remains an early attempt to change labor relations, a persistent struggle throughout the colonial and antebellum periods. Its legacy shaped Virginia history, and it stands the test of time as a noble endeavor to counter oppression. Mm -hmm.